إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الله سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون He says O oh believers have taqwa in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means that we should be conscious of Him. We should be aware of Him. And we should protect ourselves from His punishment and His wrath. And we shouldn't allow ourselves to die, except in a state of la ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I begin my khutbah, brothers and sisters, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost, to send blessings and prayers to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa an'im wa barik ala nabiyyina wa habibina Muhammadin fil awaleen. Wa salli wa sallim wa an'im wa barik ala nabiyyina wa habibina Muhammadin fil akhireen. Wa salli wa sallim wa an'im wa barik ala nabiyyina wa habibina Muhammadin fil malai al-a'la ila yawm al-deen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. The past year has been quite a series of events. It started with an earth shattering for so many people, so many youth, with the passing of Kobe Bryant. And then months later, in March, COVID hits. And then after that, protests, Black Lives Matter, police movement, and then death after death after death. And it got us to question ourselves. What are we doing that can help us in our graves once we're gone? What legacy we can, believe, we can leave behind what thing that has this value that we can, be, we can leave behind that can help us inshallah ta'ala in our graves and in the day of judgment? This is a crucial question, brothers and sisters. And in the last khutbah, we spoke about leaving a legacy. And we spoke about Imam Makandown. And in today's khutbah, we're going to be talking about another legend in the Islamic history. Someone who left a great, a great legacy. Maybe you might not know him, but as the Arabs say, رُبَّ مَشْهُورٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَغْمُورٍ فِي السَّمَاءِ وَرُبَّ مَغْمُورٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَشْهُورٍ فِي السَّمَاءِ That someone might be famous on this earth, but he's unknown in the sky, in the heavens. And someone might be unknown in this earth, in this dunya, but he's well famous on the heavens. So today's, today's legend, brothers and sisters, his name is Imam Dawood Faisal. Imam Dawood Faisal. We cannot forget his name, brothers and sisters. Imam Dawood Faisal, brothers and sisters, was born in 1891 
and he got married at the age of 30. And he got married to a woman, her name is Lady Khadija, Lady Khadija. Both of them, they were jazz musicians. They were jazz musicians before they converted to Islam. Imam Dawood Faisal, brothers and sisters, decided to do something for the Muslim community. Because at that time, the early 20th century, there were no Islamic work at all. The Muslims cannot find a masjid to go and to pray. The youth cannot find a place where they can go and learn about Islam. Learn about La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Learn about their deen. Learn about how to be a Muslim in the West. There was absolutely no work. Imam Dawood Faisal decided to build the first masjid, the first masjid in Brooklyn. That was the first masjid, masjid in New York, brothers and sisters. And her, his wife, Lady Khadija, she started, she was the founder of a orga, non-profit organization for the Muslim women. And they started their work from their brothers and sisters. Imam Dawood Faisal was the one who started the black Sunni movement. And eventually, this organization gave birth to Darus Salam. And Darus Salam is well known of the huge impact that they left to the Muslim community. Brothers and sisters, in 1960, Imam Dawood Faisal started to give da'wah. Of course, when we talk about Imam Dawood Faisal, we can talk about his activism. We can talk about him being the representative of the United States in the United Nations. We can talk about, you know, his social work. But today, I just want to focus on his da'wah, the da'wah aspect, his work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imam Dawood Faisal started giving da'wah to his friends that they used to be jazz musicians. And eventually, he was able to attract so many people so many jazz musicians converted to Islam and they joined this movement. And brothers and sisters, these people have this, you know, high status in, 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 in the community in, in America, those who work as jazz musicians. It was a symbol of, you know, a social change. Jazz music was respected by everyone who lives in the U.S. at that time. So the American government send these jazz musicians across the globe to spread this culture. And one of these jazz musicians, Muslim jazz musicians, were at, was asked, America's taking advantage of you, going there to spread this culture. And he said, beautiful phrase. He said, Allah is, is actually using me and America to spread his deen, Allah la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Because they took advantage of this opportunity to spread da'wah across the globe, subhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, when we think about Imam Dawood Faisal, and we think about his followers, and we think about the concept of working for Islam here in, 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 in the U.S., and we think about how many masajid around us that follow this legacy. He was the first one who started this work. He was the first one who was thinking about building Islamic schools to teach our sons and daughters. And one of, one of his, his great followers, his great followers, is Imam Wali. Imam Wali in the 90s, brothers and sisters, was well known by being peacemaker among the gang communities. So actually, he had this negotiation. He was well known by this negotiation with the, uh, as a peace treaty between the Crips and the blood in the 90s. So they just went beyond leaving an influence and impact on the Muslim community. But in fact, they left a legacy for all humanity. As our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَيْرُ nas and فَعُهُمْ nas." The best amongst you are those who benefit humanity, benefit people. 
So let's think about this. Let's sink in, brothers and sisters. Think about what are we going to leave after this life? And as I said in the last khutbah, everyone has two ages. Your actual age that you live in now, 50, 60, 70 years, and then the other age. This age is, 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 is based on how much you're going to leave after you. And we said Imam Shafi'i, 55 years. But he's still alive with us, with his work and with his legacy and with his knowledge. And these people were nothing extreme. These people are, are like me and you. They were jazz musicians, but they just had this, this eager want to change and to actually spread La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Do we have this eager brothers and sisters? That's a question, wallahi, I ask myself before I ask you this question. Do we have this eager want to change people? Do we have this eager want to benefit others? And to be among those who are going to be in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled all of their commitments? Do we have this eager brothers and sisters? Let's ask ourselves this question. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower Imam Dawood Faisal with his mercy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his legacy well known in the heavens. Ameen, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim ali wa lakum. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا ربنا عليك توكلنا وإليك أنبنا وإليك المصير Brothers and sisters, their work is still alive. When I see, I was, I was in, a, in a call with uh, Imam Dawood Haq. He's an Imam, African-American Imam in Newark. And I was just talking to him about the history of these great individuals. And he said that he himself is a product of this movement as well. Subhanallah. And he's still alive and he's still teaching people Islam. Still teaching our youth. He's still teaching his community. So the khair continues, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, مَا عِنْدَكُمْ يَنْفُذْ وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ بَاقْ Ma عند الله باق, brothers and sisters. All what you have now eventually will vanish after your death. Your friends, your money, your family, your car, your, your business, eventually becomes to an end. And what you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the legacy that you, have, you, you leave behind, is this thing that's going to continue with you, inshallah ta'ala, in your grave. And when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me and you to work for his, for his service and f to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to benefit people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who leave a legacy in this dunya. Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana wa ansurna al qawm al kafirin. Allahumma arina al haqqa haqqan wa rizukna attiba'ah wa arina al baatila baatilan wa rizukna ajtinaabah. Rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yun wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama wa aqim al salah. الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استووا استقيموا واعتدلوا قلوا على الله بقلوب خاشعة صلوا صلاة مودعة إن شاء الله وجنا كمباين صلاة جمعة وصلاة العصر إن شاء الله تعالى الله أكبر
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين كلا والقمر والليل إذ أدبر والصبح إذا أسفر إنها لإحدى الكبر نذيرا للبشر لمن شاء منكم أن يتقدم أو يتأخر كل نفس بما كسبت رهينة إلا أصحاب اليمين في جنات يتساءلون عن المجرمين ما سلككم في سقر قالوا لم نك من المصلين ولم نك نطعم المسكين وكنا نخوض مع الخائضين وكنا نكذب بيوم الدين حتى أتانا اليقين الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والليل إذا يغشى والنهار إذا تجلى وما خلق الذكر والأنثى إن سعيكم لشتى فأما من أعطى واتقى وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره لليسرى وأما من بخل واستغنى وكذب بالحسن فسنيسره للعسرى 
وما يغني عنه ماله إذا تردى إن علينا للهدى وإن لنا للآخرة والأولى فأنذرتكم نارا تلطى لا يصلها إلا الأشقى الذي كذب وتولى وسيجنبها الأتقى الذي يؤتي ما له يتزكى وما لأحد عنده من نعمة تجزى إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى ولسوف يرضى الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله 